Scary movies have made you a psycho. Movies don't make psychos. They make psychos more creative. like a lifetime we finally know when we're getting the ghost face gameplay trailer what's up your boy dynasty back with some more mortal kombat 1 for you on this monday afternoon because got a few things of note to discuss now obviously we kicked the video off with this all new intro that dropped out of nowhere exclusively on the official playstation social media channels Ghostface facing off against Smoke, and I'm not sure if you guys caught it, but the actual dialogue that's being said by Ghostface in this intro is pretty much word for word the exact same thing that Billy, yeah, Billy, the character from the first Scream movie, says when it's revealed that he's Ghostface in that movie. So it's led some to think that maybe we finally now know who's underneath the mask, so that's kind of exciting. Speaking of kind of exciting, so when they confirmed that the official gameplay trailer world premiere for Ghostface would be dropping this Wednesday, right before the combat cast kicks off, giving us a full breakdown of what we just watched for the first time in that trailer, it's gonna be jam-packed Wednesday. They actually shared not one, not two, but three different looks at Ghostface in the tweet confirming the trailer date. Look at this. This is sick. So we got a bunch to unpack. Before we do, if you could do your boy a solid, it takes you a second, please drop a like on the video. Without you, these MK1 videos do not happen. I truly do mean it when I say it. I love you guys. Thank you for all the support going on like 13 years. It's insane. So with that said, let's uh, let's go over this little Easter egg reference to the first movie. So I'll play it again in case you missed it. Here's the actual intro quote we're getting in Mortal Kombat 1, and shortly after I'll play the clip from the first film. Scary movies have made you a psycho. Movies don't make psychos. They make psychos more creative. Don't you blame the movies. Movies don't create psychos. Movies make psychos more creative! So you can see, it's pretty much the exact same line. I think there's like one or two words just mixed around, but for the most part, the same thing. Again, one of the most intriguing things about Ghostface, at least for me, just because I want to see what NetherRealm Studios does underneath the mask during the fatal blow. The funniest thing they could have done was put like Ed Boon's face, but with this quote being pretty much the exact same thing Billy says, if it's Billy, does it look like Billy? If this is Billy, does that mean that the other ghost face that ghost face calls out during gameplay is Stu, AKA Matthew Lillard's character from the first Scream movie? And if that's the case, doesn't that somehow mean that we're getting shaggy in Mortal Kombat through Ghostface? Kind of? <laughs> How's that for uh, Iceberg? Some deep cuts. So yeah, there you go. Pretty dope reference to the first screen movie. Now let's go on over to the official announcement of the trailer. They came out and said spotted in the nether realm. The Ghostface trailer is coming this week during the combat cast this Wednesday at 10 a.m. PT, 12 p.m. CT. Hashtag Mortal Kombat 1. And again, giving us a look at what I believe are all the mask that were previously in the first teaser we got with all the mask. The bottom one, I don't necessarily know if that's new. You guys do know we have nine masks so far and usually there's like 10 gear pieces. So we were hoping that 10th final mask was the one from the Scream movies. What's up with the tongue sticking out? This white chrome one, I don't think I've ever seen. The one that is kind of metallic like this is darker, at least it seems like, in the actual teaser, so I don't know if it's the same mask. I hope this is not the final mask being revealed. 
really hope not. I'm just saying. The interesting thing about all this is the fact that these are like different robes for Ghostface. It seems like the palettes are gonna change not just the color, but the actual design on the robe. Let's keep it real. It would have been pretty lame if it was just the same design, but different colors. It's like, oh, I got the red one. I've got the green one. I've got the yellow one. At least like this, you have the ability to really make a different looking ghost face. And again, it seems like there's some variety. The very top, the top right, we have the devil mask that we've seen previously, but this time with the red color scheme all throughout the waistband, buttons. Right next to that, we have like La Parka running into some WCW <laughs> ring with a steel chair back in 98. It's like a skeleton ghost face with like the most recent, was it like Scream 6 mask? The, the decayed old mask. The very bottom one though, almost gives me some type of like Resident Evil 4 Druid <laughs> Undertaker. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of cool. It seems again like you're not just getting reshaded stuff You're actually getting different designs for palette options With one of the most boring looking horror characters of all time. It's a guy in a cloak with a, a mask Yet still in this intro we get I could see the expression I think Netherrealm probably knocked this out the park. So there you go. New intro, Ghostface facing off against Smoke, which is a clear-cut reference to the very first Scream movie, the ending. Iconic quote, rest in peace, Wes Craven, that was great. Probably one of the best lines of all time in horror, I'd say. That quote right there. Don't you blame the movies. Movies don't create psychos. Movies make psychos more creative. It's cool to see stuff like this in Mortal Kombat. Say what you will about Ghostface being lame to see in Mortal Kombat. At least they're trying to, to give the fandom what they would want to see. So that's really cool. And again, some customization options. Wednesday is going to be jam-packed. 12 o'clock Central Time. What do you all think of Ghostface in Mortal Kombat 1? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, it takes you a second. Please drop a like on it. Subscribe some more, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.